Well, before we get into your book, um, and I, I want to I want to get some get some uh, expert perspective, expert uh, information about the Amanita muscaria mushroom. Um, mm-hmm. I want to get a better sense of your story. Like you alluded to it just a moment ago, as you were talking about why you were, you know, you're wearing a disguise and sort of the history of your psychedelic podcast in Russia. Um, but why don't you give us a little bit more of a f- thorough take? of sort of the podcast that you're producing in Russia, sort of in the series of events that unfolded, I believe that, inev- that inevitably led you to needing to leave Russia, if I if that's correct. Um, it doesn't have to be too detailed, um, but uh, but yeah, give us, give us sort of like a general overview of your story. Okay. Um, are you going to edit your uh, podcast? So you, you can interrupt me anytime. Oh, uh, no, I don't generally, I don't generally edit, um, oh, I but, see. but, okay. uh, good, good to know that I could, <laughs> I'll step in as necessary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I studied, uh, I left Russia 30 years ago, uh, when my country collapsed in country where I was born doesn't exist anymore. And it was chaos. It was bad. So I left. And it's not connected to my psychedelic studies. Uh, I'm a doctor and I have a PhD. And when I moved here, I stumbled on psychedelic plants information. And being a doctor, I just got curious what it is, what's the alternative methods, even though uh, we didn't discuss it in my medical school. So I studied psychedelic plants and our non shamanic remedies over 10 years. Uh, all available science and my own experience as well. And to my surprise, I cured a severe health condition, which I was not be able to treat with pharma products for many, many years. So um, in 2014, I created a harm reduction program named Radio Psychedelics to broadcast it over Russian speaking territories. And I was the first person who went public, and I started to talk openly about psychedelic plants, uh, health benefits, history, medicinal use, rules, dosage, certain settings, including my own experience, which is uh, cannabis, mushrooms, ayahuasca, cacti, iboga, bufo, and uh, non sh- non psychedelic remedies as a combo, rape, sananga. I invaded a territory where discussion of medicine properties of psychedelic plants was criminal activity. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm sure you heard news about Brittany Greener. Uh, Brittany, uh, Brittany Greener, no. I don't know. Oh, she's an American basketball player, and she was sentenced for nine years for cannabis concentrate in Russia. Oh, but wow. uh, we, yeah, it, it happened a few months ago, and today we freed her. So today is my wow. holiday because we, yeah, cool. we exchanged her for some criminal person which were arrested uh, previously. So instead of going public as myself, I created Cover Up, um, animated virtual figure Baba Masha from Crazy Town. And I actually scrambled my voice as well. So it's totally animated personage. I broadcasted radio psychedelics for eight years and I posted over 14,000 hours. It was just podcasts, live voice, voice streams, anonymous interviews with psychedelic users. I translated books, articles, science. I presented people which which are prohibited and banned in Russian speaking territories. Timothy Leary, Aldous Huxley, Anton Robert Wilson, McKenna, Ramdas, James Fediman, Dick Strassman. So my podcast was banned twice by Russian government. First time in 2018. And second time in 2020, because I opened another one and we, in two years we found me and banned me too. My audience, they're young people. 
they're like 18 to 30, 35. So I got the big picture what's going on with the Russian Federation. And you know what? It's a government mandated genocide of young, 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 young people. Because you cannot, you cannot get marijuana. You can get seven years of prison for having like what? 10 grams, right? But you can buy designer drugs which comes from China and India in enormous amount for nothing. You know, the whole cities were loaded with crap. People were going crazy, committing suicide, and they were thinking, oh, we are using psychedelics. We heard somewhere Timothy Leary name and LSD, blah, blah, blah. But it's not about that. And as soon as I said, that's what's going on in, a, in your country, that's what it is. And next week, <laughs> we shut me down. Interesting. Um, so, so what do you think it was that had you get shut down? Like, was it that you were pointing out the the sort of like failures of the government regulations around psychedelics and its harm to the people, or no, was it what was it? No, it was uh, when I said uh, it was genocide covered by government. Mm, yeah. So li- that's that's explicitly what you said. Yeah. Right, because uh, designer drugs, they, they, were not, they are not created in Russia. They come in Russia in enormous amount. And we drop those chemicals, which, which is uh, highly poisoned for mind and body. They dropped an enormous amount in the cities. And I had a lot of people who are working in um, Patala, Patala anatomists. I got information with uh, we don't put real diagnosis of death. We say it's a stroke, it's a, some other cause of death, but not overdose with design new drug. You know, that was uh, the first thought when I start asking people, how many people use it? How many people do you know using their drug? How, because it was a waves. Waves, let's say a whole city is loaded with some unknown chemical drug. People dying, nobody cares. Then it's something, something uh, silent, and then another wave. 